Hello, and welcome to an adventure like no other. Far more than what you have known, there is something far more to be known than you can ever know. And it is all about you, the real you, your real awareness with your intuitive senses. You were never taught that the real you, your real awareness, is operating five bodies in cause and effect restricting creation. You have been taught to think that you are only a one-dimensional human person, with a mind and emotions, and with a very short lifespan on this planet Earth. More than what your mind can grasp is your intuitive senses that can be opened to see beyond all your restrictions. You have always had an opening to see beyond what you have known, and this has been purposely kept from you, and this is where you have heard rumors and stories about your nightly dreams. Your so-called dreams is your opening to your intuitive senses that will allow you, the personal you, to excel beyond what you have previously known. Everyone has intuitive senses, and very few people take advantage of what is possible by recognizing something more than their mind can understand. Creation has its place for all of us, and then there is all life, which is far more than anything than what can become with creation. Everything we experience is necessary for us to survive with whatever we choose and decide our life to be. New Kevin Smith is the great witness to something more than what can be taught and learned in any school. It can be so that when anyone first listens to Kevin's intuitive side experiences, also known as real side experiences, from what their personal mind has known, Kevin's manner of expression will at first be rather different to comprehend. This is where this introduction and reading the new books and Facebook groups will help. Have fun deciding, Dwayne the Great Writer and Seer. In this real side experience, I would find myself initially in my former UK house recreated. Our real side house counterparts generally represent the consciousness the construct we have pieced together, comprising of every idea agreement and attachment we have created or agreed to as created by others, which then has affected our every creational situation, lifetime and life position accordingly, since the real awareness, that which we each actually are, placed its first ever body form in the simulator. As such, that which occurs within the real side house affords indication as to our agreements and attachments through what or indeed who we may find as operating within them and indeed where specifically the ideas that are the situations and body types of others dwell. Broadly speaking, the top floor would represent more so the unseen other dimensions of life, the ground floor more the physical level conscious arena, and so as we have a conscious agreements as extended to individuals, they will be featuring on the ground floor. But as all ideas begin on the real side, so we can expect them to effect manifest on the top floors, and as agreement with them is maintained, so they will transition to the ground floor and impact the physical arena and our physical body forms in whatever way they might. We each have unique real side symbology in addition to the general representations, and for me, as I have shared on previous real side experiences over the years, the closer to my physical level recreated house that events are occurring, the closer they are to a becoming physical level manifest. Literally, the ideas are getting closer to home, so to speak. Ideas then would process from whichever scene they were featuring within, to the streets surrounding my house, then to the immediate street where my house is contained, revealing the gradual transition of ideas, all ideas of which are instantly their effects in isness reality terms, 
to becoming physical level manifest as the consciousness affected body forms have the effects, although immediate in reality, rolling out in a sequential time frames, presenting a delay factor, every idea affecting movie is complete, but from the personal self a physical level perspective, we have to sit through it. From earliest childhood have I consistently had real side experiences of the skies of the street which contains my house, filled with various design of alien spacecraft, and only in more recent moments would I determine and recognise that this always was the view of the alien armada that is inbound for Earth. For indeed, vast numbers of various assorted alien body type species are stepping up at this time, and as part of their agreeable contribution to assist and support the real awareness of all, so they have decided to make their presence known on a global Earth scale. A fleet comprising of all the respective species of craft, that as they make their presence known, as they will very blatantly fill all the skies of the Earth with their ships, so their intention is to bring humanity into their formulating a confederation of stepping up and awareness becoming a species. As I have shared before, as I mentioned earlier, this view I have had since a childhood, and in actuality this is an event many centuries in the making, as though much by way of a preparation was required, much agreement had to be secured. For to have anything feature in the overall experience of humanity or any species, so must there be the agreements present in the species of consciousness, absent of the agreement idea and no effect that of the presence of the alien armada, for example, can happen. The dark forces are loath to allow this to take place, and busy themselves in stalling as they are able agreements into a human consciousness that will prevent this alien armada event from being actualized. Generally, by attempting to supplant the alien armada idea with ideas more of a destructive depopulation nature, and as for what becomes the overall human experience, depends on which agreement is held to in a prominence over all others and maintained as a such long enough to filter through from the real side where every human consciousness idea is in effect to a becoming physical level manifest. Whichever of the completed movies humanity sits through to the end effect without switching for an alternative movie and where a new overall human experience then begins to roll out to its culmination. But as I revealed in a recent real side experience, the alien armada is incoming. Everything has been done to ensure its arrival. The agreement road has been smoothed out for its uninterrupted process, and this real side experience then would be another view of this alien fleet. That just as it has featured throughout my lifetime on the real side, it would be present in the street where my consciousness representing house is positioned, indicating again the imminent nature of the idea to becoming physical level and manifest, and that nothing has intervened that is presenting as obstruction to it. For positioned on the ground floor of my house, my attention drawn to the night skies through the windows, and the bright lights of a craft or other would be present. I immediately knew that this was once again a view of the alien armada, and would enthusiastically exit my house. 
Gazing skyward, would I see the skies filled, as they always are, with this view since a childhood, with alien spacecraft of every shape, size, and design. They would all be at various elevations from a ground level. Some were evidently very large, for as they occupied positions at the highest altitudes, they still would present quite the presence. A number so distant that only the array of lights featuring on their surfaces could be discerned, a few of which had the appearance of a larger Catherine wheels. The craft lower in altitude would be more the classic saucer designed craft, and they would descend as though displaying themselves of various sizes from say 30 feet to several hundred. There would be one craft that descended of a saucer shape to the extent that I could touch it, but curiously it in actuality was a kind of a balloon or derivable designed to seem like a flying saucer. Although on a scrutiny of the various other craft visually, coupled with real awareness impressions, did I determine this was the only craft of this nature. The notion occurred that of the possibility of the dark forces launching an event in a conjunction with the alien armada's arrival, an arrival that they couldn't prevent, but could maybe cause confusion, perhaps even a project blue beam type scenario. A situation where they fake an alien invasion for the purposes of having humanity take on the consideration that all craft are filling the skies, including the stepping up alien armada, would be involved. If, say, the dark forces are put on a show of having their version of the armada rain fire down upon the cities of the world, this I had been warned about as a possibility on a previous real side experiences I have shared. That this singular craft was a clearly a fake and not part of the armada, but that it was relatively harmless, a kind of inflatable as I said, suggesting this was another idea, the Project Blue Beam contingency, that the dark forces had simply been unable to install in a human consciousness, and thus would effect as an ineffectual effort. I would be suddenly joined by the parents. They too would be gazing up at the spectacle, and as we entered a car, so I would proceed to drive them throughout the streets surrounding my immediate street, that no matter how far we travelled, so the skies were filled with the craft of the armada. Present would be very advanced, looking saucer-shaped craft. These were the most prevalent overall design, but additionally would be featuring luminous orange ships in the shape of a crescent. As I said, this was a global event. The dark forces had thrown every idea they could into the human consciousness mix, and yet, despite their efforts born out of sheer desperation, this again would be an indication that the alien armada was maintaining its course for Earth, its arrival somewhat imminent. For as I have been shown also, the alien armada tends to herald the fall of the control systems of the Earth, as though everything coming into a conjunction for not only humanity's liberation from the Dark Force reptilian controllers, but the acceptance into the confederation of stepping up aware beings and body types which the armada comprises of, and of which is an ever-expanding conglomeration throughout multi-dimensional creation. I mentioned how the dark forces would seek to derail this event, if able to implant the agreement in humanity's consciousness where this would be so, 
that among the possibilities would be a Project Bluebeam style potentiality. This would perhaps shed light on a real side experience I had the night previously, that although it was completely absent of a visual simulation, it was utterly impressions based and afforded via the real awareness to the personal self in this way, revealed was a dark force orientated fleet of aliens, not as vast as the alien armada. Specifics at the time were not made apparent, but that they had the intent of causing disruption in some shape or form. In that experience, Duane and I would be operating in a preventative capacity, that although every being cannot be interfered with in their free will ability to effect whatever they desire in a creation, and that no alien body type, or indeed a fleet, can operate abrasively, absent of agreements that allow that they can, nevertheless, the karma, the effects of abrasiveness, can be managed. That rather than the dastardly activities are taking place, and where those responsible will eventually face the effects of such dire choices, as everything equals itself, in cause and effect creation, abrasive actions equates to abrasive consequence in equal measure, the effects such beings would have faced can be altered. That instead of letting it play out and impacting adversely as it will, with the beings receiving the reflected effect penalty, the alternative effects employed can be along similar lines to that which they would have received, such as displacement into the phantom zone as an example, before their ideas cause the damage they would have. This would be a similar situation here, a visually lacking situation as I said, pure impressions, but that Duane and I were nullifying the Dark Fleet's ability to operate destructively as they intended, as though we managed their karma in a way that displaced them, that rendered them unable to operate as they had desired. This very possibly then was a kind of a Project Bluebeam style operation being formulated that may have been deployed and be present in the skies of the Earth in conjunction with the beneficial alien armada to either cause confusion through exacting an Independence Day movie style action, or perhaps a hostile engagement directly with the alien armada itself. Either way, this situation had been shut down as we had managed the effects the Dark Fleet would have accrued, had accrued in actuality, as everything immediately is its effects in reality, and again prevented another obstruction from interfering with the alien armada's journey, that once again nothing was presenting as a threat to its safe arrival to Earth. The scene would switch, I would be present in a very sophisticated, high-tech style city. Present would be various assorted beings and body types, all of the awareness becoming persuasion, that just as on the real side are the universities and real side ranch which present as accommodation and as a constant support and sharing for all of those sincere with their real intent of his recognition, this advanced city would serve a similar purpose. That it was so vast was a testament once again to the sheer numbers of beings and body types throughout multi-dimensional creation stepping up and deciding to become more aware at this moment. For were this not the case, then the ever-expanding in size and quantity of the various universities, real side ranch, and now this enormous futuristic city wouldn't be required. 
Some of these creations are by special idea invite only, the idea required to experience the effect, specific universities, etc. That although featuring in a creation, they are inaccessible, absent of the guides, affording the means by which entry can be granted. Other creations of this nature are more so open to all in the simulator, and so required are security measures. The real guides, for example, will remove all those that trespass onto the real side ranch, where their sincerity of his intent is found wanting. This would be the case here with this city of stepping up beings. For indeed, I was assigned as part of the security team and would be accompanying what would be the leader of our security group in a car. He at the wheel, and we are constantly were scouring the city and removing the undesirables, the unaware and ill-intended. Evidently, he was an individual of some awareness standing, very possibly even a real guide, and we ensured the city was maintained as being devoid of all those with agendas and inclinations other than the overall recognition of the ears. As an example, we came across a kind of a fur-covered beast creature. He was hiding under another stationary vehicle, and we would drag him out from under it, bundle him into the caged back seat of our car, and where he would be destined to be ousted from the city. Our duties complete for the moment, the city, now absent of never do wells, we would be sat at a table, present also would be a Jeremy, and he would remind me that we had an assignment to attend, by which we needed to secure technology of some kind from some far-flung area of a creation, very likely an operation we are shortly to execute, and if any details regarding it are provided my personal self, I will be sure to report as to our activities regarding such. There was one other individual at the table with us, and I would describe him as a consciousness diviner. He had the ability to tune in to any being, and not only determine the agreements and attachments they still were retaining as yet to be released, as every individual in the city was on their respective processes of awareness, which included a facing and relinquishing of every idea of the consciousness, but also the nature of the agreements and attachments still to be released, so would the diviner manifest as a simulation before him, and which are featured between his hands. He would reveal to me some of the body forms I still had to as yet face and release, idea attachment and agreement wise, those that especially demanded more so my immediate attention. For although every being we ever have extended agreement to, in whatever form this had taken throughout our simulator stay, are as ideas to be released. Some of these body types are considerably more creationally powerful than others, and have the agreements that allow them to express their abilities adversely in relation to ourselves. These then would be the body forms that ideally we ought address, for as long as we retain agreement to them, especially if the nature of the agreement is a power dynamic where they can effectively bestow harm upon us or destroy us, then we are rather vulnerable to them, as at any moment of their choosing, as we hold to the idea of them, they can effect into our experience and carry out whatever actions the parameters of our agreements in relation to them allow. For the consciousness diviner would reveal quite the assortment of demonic godlike reptilian type characters, 
all of which had developed their consciousness that affected were very powerful and capable body types, and additionally had they trolled extensive agreement by whatever means this had been, where they could impact adversely into the experiences of a vast multitudes of simulator dwellers, including myself. This was certainly worth taking note of, ultimately taken to a conclusion, every agreement and attachment pertaining to other body types will be released, as we endeavour to intend to proceed with our awareness process, but as these particular body forms were drawn to my attention, perhaps indicated was the prudence of dealing with the agreement tap lines now, before these ideas enter my experience and present as individuals I can't deal with, etc. The consciousness diviner would now reveal a dastardly scheme as a conjured up by the dark forces, as though he was revealing a particular installed agreement present in overall humanity's consciousness. And just as it was with the revelations of the powerful body types, I still retained agreement to whether diviner would manifest the ideas of the consciousness under scrutiny as a visual simulation, so afforded was the nature of this dark force idea in this same manner. For between his hands would be a human representing the species and what may potentially befall it if this particular dark force consciousness idea assumes a prominence and becomes a physical level actualized, specifically would be revealed the inside of the human's skull as though an X-ray a glimpse into what was occurring there, and where some form of minuscule robotic insect was boring a hole into the very brain of the human, and once accomplished, although the human wasn't experiencing any form of a body debilitating a reaction, discomfort, or even a pain, through this robotic insect that now took up a residence attached to the brain, could the human be controlled? This was a slight variation of the dark force agenda to robotize humanity, and through a technology the robot forms are connected with so they can be controlled, humanity's idea creating body vehicles usurped, and what is generated through them, that which affects a simulated experience, is utterly under the direction of the dark forces, and where they can then steer humanity's overall experience exactly in the direction they desire, as they would have effectively wrested control of the free will generating effects from the hands of humanity. Having as much a trouble getting this particular robotization idea agreement to stick as they are with all their desperate idea installations into human consciousness, here then was another agreement they had a crowbarred into human consciousness that would serve a similar purpose as robotization, though absent of the necessity for humans to become as robots but instead very likely a plague of these mini mechanical insects unleashed globally that every human is infected. Whatever the body entry point is for the insects, that they can assume positions as attached to the human brain, by which through the insects are the human race remotely controlled as to their idea creating etc. Evidently, the diviner determined the importance of bringing this particular dark force idea to my attention, but like all consciousness implanted agreements which are in effect now, they must be present as among those at the forefront of human consciousness and maintained there long enough that they become physical level actualized. And so, these are not prophecies of a doom, 
These are just potentialities of experience through agreement, and what comes to pass for individuals or entire species is really what is decided. But as I said, and have shared on previous real side experiences, the human consciousness is rather shifting, its controlled density breaking up, and more difficult is it for the dark forces to proceed with their agendas, including those of extreme control and depopulation, and that they must install so many agreements constantly into the human consciousness is born of desperation. As I revealed in the beginning, the alien armada could not arrive at Earth with a control system still very much in place, let alone one that continues to escalate, and as nothing is impeding the alien armada's successful arrival to Earth, this suggests that despite all the agreements being human consciousness installed by the dark forces, they will likely be unsuccessful, lose their hold of humanity, and either elect to step up themselves and become more aware, or scuttle back to the dark areas of creation they have effected for themselves, or find themselves displaced into the phantom zone, should they persist in their disrupting inclinations. Seems the city wasn't safe just yet, as a gigantic spacecraft, reminiscent of those from the Independence Day movie, would ominously materialise in the scene and settle over a portion of the city. Impressions revealed it contained alien body forms of a decidedly ill-intended proclivity and either were here in a threatening, intimidating capacity, a show of strength perhaps, or intended to attempt to lay waste to the city of stepping up beings. The experience would end before which option could be revealed, but I'm confident the city will stand, the real guides and other aware and capable beings always are on hand throughout the universities, the real side ranch, and creations which serve a similar beneficial purpose, such as the large sci-fi city which featured in this experience.